dear students so welcome back again to your unacademy neat english channel i hope all of you are doing great so today i am going to tell you six most confusing reactions and these six reactions they hold a hell lot of weightage that means sure shot 20 marks you can either get from these reactions and if you won't be able to remember then you are going to get negative marks that means not only 20 marks you are going to lose you are going to lose more than 20 marks because definitely whenever you are going to get negative marks that's really very painful now let's see this is the well-known reaction given in class 11th and CERT part 2 the reactant is being benzene and the reagent that is being chlorine the reactant as well as the reagent both are common over here you can see very clearly this is the reactant for both the two reactions and this is chlorine and this is chlorine so what's the difference and why it is confusing why 99.9% .9 students they are going to get negative marks over there this question number of times it has been asked in aims at that time aims was taking separate examination so assertion and reasoning was there i will let you know each and everything but let's see this benzene is reacting with chlorine here it is giving hexachlorobenzene just you can see this benzene is c6h6 and that compound is yes c6cl6 so you can see very clearly that in the first reaction this benzene has lost six hydrogen atoms and in place of six hydrogen atoms it has bonded with six chlorine atoms so definitely in place of hydrogen the benzene is going to get chlorine so straightforward it is an example of substitution reaction you see it was aromatic and the product is also aromatic so there is no effect on the aromaticity of this compound aromaticity is still maintained now if you see the second reaction its aromaticity has been lost it was c6h6 now this compound is c6h6cl6 in this reaction benzene's hydrogen are still with the benzene but benzene has lost its aromaticity it has gained six chlorine atom just gain that means something added some atoms are added six chlorine atoms are being added so it is an example of addition reaction free radical addition reaction electrophilic substitution reaction you can see but the question arises why these students are getting failed what's their secrets its name is hexachlorobenzene it's okay six chlorine are there and it is being benzene so name is okay name is getting matched with this structure its name is hexachlorobenzene no problem is there but this compound's name is benzene hexachloride benzene hexachloride just focus on benzene there we have written benzene no problem but here why we are writing benzene when there is no benzene Benzene is not there, but still the name is benzene hexachloride. So definitely, if you apply your brain, then also you're not able to understand what should be the answer. So its common name is benzene hexachloride, and this compound is more famous than that compound because this is an insecticide name as gamexine powder. Its name is lindane and its name is triple six this is very very famous compound because it is used by farmers to protect their crop plants each and everything so what type of question i'm going to tell you more about the details about these two reactions but before that let me tell you what the question has been asked in iit as well as in aims assertion benzene hexachloride is an aromatic compound reason because it follows don't see the structure whenever the benzene hexachloride is given over there everyone 
will say that this is the compound structure because right now though I have written the structure then you will say oh my god why sir is telling like this so whenever the benzene hexachloride is coming in your examination this structure will be coming to your brain but because I have written both the two reactions all together that is going to make a clear cut discussion that yes what is what so it's just like transparency is there crystal clarity is there now what was the question benzene hexachloride is aromatic compound reason it follows Huckel's rule as well as planarity rule now what the kid is going to think in his brain or her brain that this is benzene hexachloride and definitely that the assertion is true and the reason is true so yes both are the true statement and reason and reason is explaining the assertion it's remember that why i am telling you again and again here addition has taken place their substitution has taken place during electrophilic substitution reaction benzene is not going to lose its aromaticity but during addition here the reaction is taking place in or on the basis of pi electrons pi bond has broken and pi bond has changed into sigma bonds so this is benzene hexachloride do remember c6h6cl6 and that is simply c6h6 this reaction is now how to find out in the examination that which product you are supposed to prepare whenever anhydrous alcl3 this is lewis acid is given do substitution and this reaction is carried out in dark and cold but whenever the sunlight is there or 500 Kelvin temperature means you can say high temperature or sunlight presence that is going to do free radical addition reaction. So this is very very important reaction and it is given in class 11th NCRT part 2 you can see your NCRT. Now let's move towards the second reaction this reaction it's two reaction already I have explained now see these two reactions OH aniline this is phenol this is aniline that the reagent in both the reaction is same chloroform and QH alcoholic QH chloroform and alcoholic QH for both the reaction chloroform and QH is same now once chloroform and QH is given over there in the question if students they are aware with Riemer Tiemann reaction they will go for Riemer Tiemann reaction other students those who are aware with Carbalamin test they will go for Carbalamin test but kids both the two reactions have written all together just to make it very clear crystal clear so that you can understand whenever this chloroform KOH is reacting with phenol it will give salicylaldehyde salicylaldehyde that means orthohydroxy benzaldehyde para product is also formed but that is a minor product so whenever ccl4 koh is given it is going to form salicylic acid this is also rematima reaction but i am not interested in this so chloroform koh if reacting with aniline or any one degree amine basically better to say that chloroform koh when reacts with any one degree amine whether it is aliphatic or aromatic it is a distinguishing test this is known as carbalamin test because this carbalamin has foul smell foul smell is very very unpleasant or bad smell it is poisonous compound isocyanide phenyl isocyanide or you can say carbalamin so whenever chloroform qh reacts with phenol salicylaldehyde rematimanic reaction otherwise carbalamin test now see two more reactions these are total six reactions four already have explained now two more just see to it here br2 koh earlier what was there chloroform koh and here br2 koh in both the two reactions if amide whether it is aliphatic or aromatic one degree amide reacts with br2 koh this is known as hoffman bromamide degradation reaction or hoffman bromide rearrangement or hoffman bromamide rearrangement reaction this is shortening of the chain in this reaction one degree amide converts into one degree amine that there is loss of carbonyl group so this test this is not the test actually 
because no color, no fume is there. This is a simple reaction. So, Hoffman bromamide degradation, 1 degree amide converts into 1 degree amine. Bromoform test that you can say haloform test, chloroform, bromoform, iroform test. So, just remember CONH2, then Hoffman bromamide degradation, COCS3, then haloform test that is going to form CHBR3 if I2 and KOH is given, then CHI3, yellow color PPT, otherwise bromoform. So, kids, take care of these six reactions because these six reactions are really not confusing. I will not say confusing. If all together you have compared, then definitely you are going to win this race. You are going to get full marks in your NEET examination. So, whenever you see such type of reactions or the test or whatever the things, always try to write down on a single page all together. So, simultaneously you can see both the two type of reaction and you can compare. Whenever you are comparing over here, you will not get negative marks in the examination. Otherwise, most of the students, they used to say that silly mistake we did mistake by chance it's not by chance if your study methodology is like this then definitely you are going to win the race so all the best we'll meet you in next session so stay tuned